Hello and welcome to today's Wednesday in the Word. I'm talking to you today from Birmingham, Alabama, where I'm at the General Assembly for the PCA. It's a great opportunity to meet with other pastors and other ruling elders and also to hear about what's happening in the denomination. It is also shockingly hot outside. So I've come inside and uh, here I am in one of the seminar rooms recording today's Wednesday in the Word. Uh, One of the hallmarks of the PCA is a hallmark of our Christian lives, that of prayer. And last week we talked a little bit about what prayer is and how it means we pour out our hearts to God. Uh, Today's question talks about the attitude that we are to show as we come to God in prayer. Here's the question and answer from today's New City Catechism. With what attitude should we pray? With love, perseverance and gratefulness, in humble submission to God's will, knowing that for the sake of Christ, he always hears our prayers. And the verse which goes along with that is from Philippians chapter 4 verse 6. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. There are all sorts of things we could say about how we are to pray, whether it's on our knees, whether that should be when we're walking, whether it should be with our eyes closed. But the the physical attitude of prayer isn't so much the issue that the Q&A from the New City Catechism deals with. So much more it's to do with our hearts. When we come to God in prayer, why do we do it? Is it because we're just ticking a box? This is the religious thing I need to do every day. And somehow we kind of convince ourselves that God's going to love us less if I don't pray. But that's not what this question gets at. As followers of Jesus, we couldn't be more loved and approved by God than we already are. So why do we pray? Because God tells us to. Jesus prayed. His spirit lives in us. We are actually communing with the triune God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and we're caught up in that relationship. Now, that should in and of itself humble us. And the encouragement from this Q&A is to indeed be humble before our Father in heaven. And the encouragement here is Not to be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition, to bring our requests before him with gratitude in our hearts. It's an important question to ask, but when was the last time we said thank you to God? And and with that as well, how did we say thank you? Was it simply a perfunctory thanks or was the real heart in it? A man called John Bunyan, who many of you all have known, uh, wrote uh, The Pilgrim's Progress, once said these words in relation to prayer. In all your prayers, forget not to thank the Lord for his mercies. When thou prayest, rather let thy heart be without words than thy words without a heart. Prayer will make a man cease from sin, or sin will entice a man to cease from prayer. What Bunyan's getting at there is the idea that we need to make sure that our hearts are in the right place before God as we come before him in prayer. He's not saying that we shouldn't speak as we pray. As I say, what he's getting at is making sure that we don't just say words for the sake of saying them. Something else he also highlights there is as we pray before God and as we think God's thoughts after him in light of his word and as his spirit works in and through us, so we're conformed more and more to the likeness of his son, Jesus Christ. And that in and of itself becomes a safeguard against sin. And similarly, Bunyan suggests, when sin entices a man to cease from prayer, uh, that's an indication, therefore, that we need to be careful. When we don't want to pray, that suggests that sin might be creeping at the door. And so we need to therefore make sure that we do come before God in humble prayer. You might be able to hear different noises around me. The General Assembly's afternoon sessions are about to start, but let me lead us in a prayer right now. Let's all pray. Loving Father, we come to you in the name of your beloved Son. Give us perseverance in prayer. 
even when we do not immediately see answers. Let us believe that you will not keep back any good thing from us and trust that you will withhold those things we seek that would harm us. Your ways are higher than our ways and we entrust our requests to your sovereign kindness. Amen. Take care. God bless you.